how can we check the ice? Easy. So when you plug the power, as you can see, if you have a bad AC, you will feel that IC is hot. If you find a ceramic capacitor that is connected to the ground in both sides, means what? Means maybe the PF or the ceramic capacitor is failed itself or the IC is failed. Hi, we're going to see how to diagnose a tablet motherboard. Okay, so let's check for example this motherboard as you can see so the first thing is to do a vasial inspection for the horn motherboard okay you should do a vasial inspection before starting diagnosing the motherboard do first a vasial inspection okay because by doing a vasial inspection you can find a bad component or a burned IC or chips, etc. Okay, so visual inspection also for the connectors. As you can see, you can check the connectors whether the connectors are not connected correctly or not. So, for example, for this motherboard, as you can see here, we have this connector, the audio connector. Do you see? This is a damaged connector, a burned connector. So, by doing a vasial inspection, because this connector right now can be the cause that make this motherboard a deal motherboard, okay? So, as you can see, this connector is damaged, means the pins inside it can be shorted or can be connected to each other and then the motherboard can be shorted and then a deal motherboard, okay? So, Always you should do a vasial inspection. Then after the vasial inspection, for example, for this motherboard, all connectors and ICs and chips and compounds seems to be good, as you can see. Then when the all compounds are good, you can then check the component one by one but the first thing to check is the power jack as you can see the power jack should be checked you should check inside the power jack as you can see because this part inside the power jack is a very important part if this part is broken or bad as you can see here then you should replace the whole power jack if you find that this part is good inside it, then you should check the soldering here, these pins over here. You should check the soldering, okay? So if you find that the soldering is bad, you should make another solder, okay? So the power jack is the first thing to check. Second, you should check the connectors as you can see for example the usb connectors you should check its pins because if a usb connector is broken or you have here a uh, bended pins or a connected pins a damaged usb connector it can be the cause of a dead laptop motherboard okay because when for example a ground is connected with, with a high pin or the data minus and data plus are connected this problem can cause the CPU failure okay so that's why you should check this connector also the audio connector etc as you can see here we have the example here the audio connector is broken is damaged is burned out as you can see okay so this connector should be replaced first before go ahead and check in other components because this connector can be the cause of the failure for this model okay so the first step as i told to you is a vasial inspection okay a vasial inspection is the first step then checking the power jack inside the power jack and the soldering of the battery. Then you can check other components, especially ICs, as you can see, like IC. So how can we check the IC? Easy. So when you plug the power, as you can see, 
if you have a bad AC, you will feel that IC is hot. Okay? So when you plug the power, try to check the heat of the ICs. You will find that the bad IC will be very hot. Okay? Will be a very hot. Okay? So there is another way or another method to check the serviceability of ICs is by checking the PF or the ceramic capacitors around the IC. If you find a ceramic capacitor that is short to the ground in both sides mean the IC is bad. I will show you how using the multimeter. <clears throat> so let's check this IC for example. So the first thing is to put the multimeter to the buzzer option as you can see. Okay. Now the multimeter is seated to the buzzer option and then press the power button okay so let's check the continuity so the continuity is seated correctly so now we can check this IC to confirm and to be sure that the IC is good as I told to you you can check its heat if the heat of the IC is increased is not is not normal then the IC is bad or you can check these capacitors around the IC you should not find a shorted capacitor I mean ceramic capacitor all these capacitors as you can see so let's put the black probe in the ground as you can see here we have the ground the ground is everywhere in the motherboard as you can see so this is the ground everywhere in the motherboard also here we have ground also here you can find ground here somewhere here okay so now the black probe is in the ground this all this ceramic capacitor capacitor should be connected to the ground in just one terminal one side not the both side so let's check so this PF capacitor is connected to the ground in this side so here should not be connected to the ground as you see this also on this side here in the other side no no this also the same so maybe here yeah it is connected to the ground in this terminal but in this terminal not if you find a ceramic capacitor that is connected to the ground in both sides means what means maybe the PF or the ceramic capacitor is failed itself or the IC is failed but about 90% the failed component is the IC okay so because the ceramic capacitor is connected to the ground in one side and to the IC in the other side so when the IC is shorted the ceramic capacitor will be shorted in the both side okay so we can even check with other ceramic capacitor for example this tool is check so here we have a ground here we should not get a continuity as you can see for this also the same as you can see for those also the same working principle as you can see this part now here to the ground here here we have a problem let's check Okay, let's check again. So, let's check. Yeah, it is connected to the ground in this side, but in this side not. So, maybe I touch this, I touch this part also, because this chemical capacitor is connected to the ground in this side, as you see. And this one in this side. So, in this side, no. Okay, so good. All this, let's check this also, as you can see, one side, okay, this side no, this side okay, so this IC is good, because all PF capacitors are not shorted. You can use this technique or this trick in every IC in the motherboard. So let's check another IC from another motherboard, for example, okay, so let's check for example this motherboard as you can see here 
so let's check this motherboard as you can see so here we have an IC okay so this is our IC that we will check right now so as you see we have here chemical capacitor so let's check F first let's put the black probe to the ground so here we have the ground let's check okay okay here we have the ground as you can see we have the ground everywhere so let's check this capacitor the first one it is connected to the ground in this terminal this and this now let's check another for example this it is connected to the ground but in this side should not yes let's check this in this side now in this side yes so let's check this for example so in this side now in this side yes now yes okay so this chemical capacitor and now the IC are good means the IC is good okay but if you found a ceramic capacitor that is shorted like this and give you a low resistor in the multimeter means the IC should be replaced maybe the ceramic capacitor is bad but as I told to you, 90%, 90% the IC cause the problem of ceramic, shorted ceramic capacitors. Okay. So if you want, we will, we can check another IC. Okay. So for example, let's check another IC here. For example, let's check this IC. As you can see, we have here another IC. So the multimeter is seated correctly. To the buzzer option so let's check this capacity we can do like this or we can check with the ground so let's check in this side okay in this side now in this side connected to the ground in this side now let's check this also in this side now in this side yes in this side now yes no no yes no yes no yes no yes no okay so means the IC is good okay so now I will show you a trick that you can be used to find the short in the motherboard easily so to confirm if the motherboard is shorted or not or not you can just use do inductor as you can see so this is inductor or coil we have here one inductor this is the second this is the third okay you can just check this inductors or check the ceramic capacitor as I told you, to you before around the ICs to confirm if you have a short or not because always always in every motherboard the inductor should not be connected to the ground the inductors exist in the high bus or, or in the high line of power always the inductor connected to the power not to the ground so let's check so let's check our multimeter is seated to continue with the option so let's put this in the ground here we have ground everywhere so let's check this first inductor as you can see so the inductor is not connected to the ground let's check this also as you can see now as you can see now so we don't have any short here so let's check the inductor itself so when you find that inductor is not connected to the ground means there's no short here you can even check the ceramic capacitor as I told to you before if you find a shorted ceramic capacitor means the IC is shorted okay and of course you should check the shape or the state of the motherboard because sometimes you can find a broken motherboard that's why you should check the whole motherboard as you can see here and check the soldering of all components okay and connectors also okay so here you can check the soldering this is a crystal or a quartz the soldering of all connectors 
Also, for example, you can check the soldering of switches, as you can see. And for the all parts, the soldering of all parts. And also check whether the motherboard is broken or not.